guys, I'm Sarah Kostreva, I'm with The Style Garage, and today we're going to be doing a session on just a really loose side twisted uh, updo look for just casual wear, uh, wedding wear, things like that. So what we're gonna wanna start out with is, I already prepped her, I used a curl stick. Um, we used a lot of the Session Hairspray by Kevin Murphy. We used some bodybuilder on her for, to hold her curls. And now I'm just going to, basically, we already loosened her hair as well, so she's basically set to go. What I wanna do is I just wanna create a little bit more volume through this base. So I'm gonna kinda of show you how to do that with a teasing comb. And the difference between a regular comb and a teasing comb, obviously, is you have the teeth that are a little bit more jagged, and they actually kind of wind around like this. They're not straight edged, so that it's a little bit more healthier for your hair as well. I'm just gonna take a top section here. You always wanna tease from the back. You're gonna take a 45 degree angle with your teasing comb, and you're just gonna work down at the base. As you can see, I'm not doing this. I'm not working through the top. By doing that, you're gonna disturb all the curl you put into place here. You can see we have a nice little base there. Just giving it a little bit of a base. Now these side sections, I'm just basically doing this just to blend this in a little bit. Not needing a whole lot of body through the sides. I'm gonna go ahead and do another layer of the session spray. And if you always, too, if you have a hard time using a teasing comb, you can always spray this section after you tease it and then go on to the next section, do a layer. You just gotta make sure you're using the right hairspray. Um, you wanna use a layering hairspray. You don't wanna use anything that's real, real heavy. You're not gonna be able to work with the hair after. So our favorite to use for any type of casual or wedding hair is the session spray. All right, now you're just gonna go ahead and you're just gonna kind of look at yourself in the mirror and you're gonna balance your hair using your fingers. All right, after you get your volume in your hair where, where you want it and where you want to balance, if you have a section that you see needs more teasing, it may not need more teasing, it just may, you just utilize the tail end of the comb, get in there and you just may need to lift, like that. You may need not to tease it again, because what, what can end up happening is you can disturb everything else that you just did. So you can use the tail end of the comb to lift and you can get a lot more volume in there. Now because she has a lot of texture going through here, if you do a little twist, a little not the right way, it's not gonna be that big of a deal because she has so much texture in here, we want it to be more of a loose look anyways. So you wanna take a vertical section, just like this. You just wanna split it in half. You're just gonna be using these two sections. You don't have to worry about three, you don't have to worry about braiding, you don't have to worry about sectioning off from one side to the other. All we're doing is we're just coming from the bottom, twisting up, leaving this section down, taking a little section from the bottom, twisting up. We're just gonna do that all the way around the head. And you can see this is very loose. Okay, if you wanna make it tighter because you're afraid by the time you get over here, it's going to be real, 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 real loose, you can do that because we can always loosen this twist. So we can get in there, we can make it real tight if you want. And how you do that is you just, you just twist even more, kind of pull these sections. So again, I'm not doing anything with the top of her hair. However, this top section is falling through here, I'm just leaving it. We'll, we'll worry about that later. Okay, so we're just going to grab from the bottom and twist up, and now we're kind of going to stop. So this bottom section that I had, I'm just kind of twisting this here. The other section is right here. Okay, and I'm just going to take a bobby pin. Now this is where you can put a ponytail holder in if you want to put a ponytail holder in or whatever. I'm just going to take a bobby pin, I'm going to open it, and I'm going to straddle this here, and I'm going to push it down and back. And that's going to start to secure. Now she's got a lot of hair, so we're gonna have to do that more than once. Okay, so now you can kind of see, we got our chest, we have this little curl hanging out, we got this kind of all messed up here, that's totally fine. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of take this curl out, we're gonna lift up here, that teasing is all under there, so we can start pulling on this style a little bit. Using our fingers, we're just gonna shape this back out again so we have a nice form back here. Basically what you can do with this top section is just take a bobby pin, find how much hair you want down or how much hair you don't want down, just bring it back to your bobby pin. You can straddle that chunk of hair like this, twist it on in, 
and again up. So that is our session. Just a really simple twist, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.